फॉर्स मैंसुरेशन लेक्चर नंबर फोर्टीन सो अगेन आई एम इन ट्रिग्नोमेट्री इन फॉरेस्ट्री सो माई प्रीवियस लेक्चर लेक्चर नंबर इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन वो बेस्ड ऑन द सेम ट्रिग्नोमेट्री इन फॉरेस्ट्री सो माई रिक्वेस्ट इज देयर टू सी इन अरियल सीरियल वाइज द एंटायर लेक्चर फ्रॉम लेक्चर नंबर इलेवन टू सेवेंटीन टू अंडरस्टैंड मोर बेटर सो ऑलरेडी वी आई हेव डिस्कस इन माई प्रीवियस अगेन दिस आर द थ्री थिंग्स टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड वी शूड नेवर फॉर गेट दिस हाउ to find the height of a tree or height of anything we should always divide like this unknown side divided by known side so based on this one only we are doing uh, toa tangent opposite over hypotenuse this opposite is unknown adjacent is known so we do cos cos we apply in both uh, the methods of uh, uh, vertical trees also lean trees also so this one we are doing Uh, adjacent over hypotenuse. This is adjacent is unknown. Hypotenuse is known. Then we go for sine method. This is we do sine method for the leaning trees, and these are the sine laws. Sine laws we should never forget. These sine laws. This is sine A E B divided by A B is equal to sine E A B divided by E B. So these are the three things we will remember every time for your trigonometry. Now. Case one, we did it last lecture in lecture number thirteen. Case one, we have done in a practical way. So others will may not be doing demonstration, but formulas will understand how to do in case two and three. In case one, very important was that uh, this E D B, E D B, this triangle. If this triangle we cannot measure E D, we have to do by cos here. We'll apply cos here. so similar are the other two cases for example the case 2 tells that observer is bit and the uh, below below the bottom of the tree you can see the, the tree is uh, this uh, above the observer observer here a b is above he is in the lower hill the tree is in the higher hill in this case how to calculate the important thing here is again because e b we can take the measurement but ed we cannot take it is uh, on the uh, lower part, underground see underground we cannot dig it how we will dug this one so we cannot it is not possible to dig it out to take the uh, uh, distance from up e to d so we convert this one we replace eb by ed by cos method here so let's understand in this method this is a, again a vertical tree this is a vertical tree you can see but in this case the i the observer ab observer i is below what below below your top and uh, base of the tree so where the top and base of the tree are below the eye level you can see below the eye level eye level is somewhere here in the d but this is below that one so in this case how we will do again we will follow the same method of uh, toa tangent for the upper one and cos on the lower one now let's come for the first one ab is the tree height this is the tree height alpha is the angle of the top tree this is the elevation angle of elevation is alpha okay from this one from line of de this is alpha and beta is a base beta is that this one this one we will take beta okay from zero up to the base whatever angle comes we will take from the instrument we will take from the instrument from zero we will go to up to here from up to where the base is there here we will get some beta and alpha will get up to a so what we will do will will minus this this triangle by this triangle first of all let's understand why tangent already i told you this is unknown this is known so unknown by known we'll get toa in toa what we are assuming we are assuming that ab is equal to ab is what is equal to ad minus bd this ad minus bd this is we are getting the height but let's uh, convert this one ad ad minus bd for ad what is ad this is for to to, to get the ad we are doing this one tangent alpha tangent alpha e a d this tangent alpha full minus tangent beta this one this one beta so we'll minus this triangle by this triangle okay from this triangle we'll minus this one so we'll get that height so ed is equal to tan alpha this one Full this one tan alpha minus E D tan beta. So E D tan alpha minus 
ED this beta. Okay. So, ED is common, will come here, we will put in the bracket tan alpha minus tan beta will get that AB. But if this is not possible because it is underground now here. So, the measure of ED is uh, not possible. It is difficult to measure because this we, we, it is known, this EB is known, but we, we don't know. We have to make this triangle 90 degree, then only we can get the tangent. It's a vertical tree, we, this vertical. So, how we will do? Either we, we, we can't dig it there and make a tunnel and then we can know that height. No. We will go for this trigonometric method of tangent and this is from cos. Now, we will uh, replace this, uh, this uh, we will replace this ED by EB, but we have to go for cos. Cos already I told you this is uh, last time uh, I have already explained about this cos. Cos means adjacent over hypotenuse. So, let us uh, take in a triangle. Which triangle we are? DBE. D, this D, B, E. We have a triangle D, B, E. So, this triangle D, B, E, we are taking this D, B, E, this triangle. This triangle we are taking D, B, E, where E, D, E, D is unknown. See, E, D is unknown. Unknown divided by known and E, B is known. E, B is known. So, we are using cos. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay. So, this is how, how this is, this is again, this one is opposite. This will become opposite. Isn't this is 90 degrees. This will become adjacent. This will become adjacent and this will become hypotenuse. So, adjacent over hypotenuse will be cos. You can see adjacent over hypotenuse will become cos. So, cos beta is equal to ED unknown divided by known is EB. So, we will cross multiply it again. So, ED will come here, ED is coming here, EB cos EB cos beta is coming here into this one is coming here. Okay. So, we will now replace what we will replace this ED value has to be replaced by this cost method where we will get this one or we are getting this one here. So, ED is been replaced by EB cos beta that is tan alpha minus tan beta we get that height of a tree when the case is like this when the case is vertical tree on the sloping ground where the base and the top of the tree is below the eye level. So, this is very simple and the thing which you, I want to tell is ED is difficult to measure then we have to change it, change it in this cos. So, cos beta we have to take it in cos beta we will do cross multiply in cross multiply ED will come here EB cos beta. So, this ED cos beta will put the value here. So, we can get it. The next is case 3. In case 3, now observer is above the base and the top of the tree. He is here above the base and top of the tree. See, uh, this top is also lower than him and then base is also lower. In this case, this is a triangle which we make here the triangle. Again, the uh, thing is here. What is here? Here it is difficult to measure ED. Let us understand. Now, again, it is a vertical tree, but now the observer is uh, somewhere in the top where the top and the base of a tree is above the eye level. This is above the eye level. So, in this case, how we will solve it? Again, it is a tangent because it is a vertical tree. Now, for that one, we will make a, a, a imaginary line. That is imaginary line come from E. This is an eye. A, a, a man is standing here. Man is standing here. Okay. And this is, he is having a, this is a zero level here direct. So, straight line he will get an imaginary here. We have to make a triangle. We have to make a triangle and this one triangle is E, D, B and making this 90 degree because it is from here it is 0. We will take the first angle that is alpha that is angle of depression. The first angle of depression up to the top of the tree we will take. This angle will get it from the instrument here. So, we will have D, E, A. Then second reading we will be taking off again angle of depression to the base we will get beta here. So, to find this AB we have to minus from DB to AD. So, AB is the tree height. Alpha this one is the angle above the top of the horizontal line from the observer which I cuts the D making a right angle. This will cut at making a right angle here. Beta is the angle at the top of the tree. This is the angle at the top of the tree. Okay. Then ED. 
ED is the horizontal line from the observer, this one, direct uh, line making a right angle triangle and EB, EB is this one, EB is the horizontal distance on the sloping, this we can take, this angle EB we can take, we can take, so we can take, we, we, we can take this data of uh, EB by a measuring tape, this we can get uh, alpha and beta, we will get it from the instrument, that is we can get the degree, this is the natural, we will go for natural tangent, but again I told you, T O A toa toa means opposite over adjacent. Opposite is unknown and adjacent is known. Okay. Here, here very important is we will minus it now. This is the opposite case. Now, how we will minus it? This is A B. We we want A B. To get A B, we have to minus D B, this one, minus A D. So from this one, we'll minus this one, we will get the height of a tree. So for that one, what we'll do? This is E D. E D tangent beta, this is a big one, tangent beta, this one, minus what? We will minus the, this one, we will minus this entire, this triangle, this triangle, we will minus it. So, minus E D tan alpha, this will be minus from here, okay. So, E D is equal to, in under bracket, we will take tangent beta minus tangent alpha. Now, as ED is uh, difficult to measure, so it is very difficult to measure from here to here. So, what to do in this case? Again, we will go for the same cos, this cos. Here, we will invert it, this upper side we will take, inver invert this one. So, to take this one, the same uh, formula, cos is adjacent for hypotenuse, for this one we will take the cos. So, uh, in a triangle BDE, in a triangle BDE, what is unknown, ED is unknown. Okay, divided by EB is known. So, we will put the same ka. C O uh, C A H ka means C is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse ka. So, this cos we will put here. What? Cos of what? Cos of beta. Cos of beta is equal to ED unknown divided by EB. So, we will cross multiply it. So, ED will come here. We want to know what is ED. ED is the EB cos beta. This we are getting the value of ED. So, we will replace this ED. Where we will replace this ED? We will replace this uh, uh, ED in this ED. We will replace because we want to know the EB. So, we will put it here. So, in the, in the place of this ED, we will put this value. In the place of this one, we will put this value. So, when we put this value here, so AB AB is equal to, in ED we are putting this value, so EB cos beta is equal to tan beta minus tan alpha. This way we can get the height when we are, where we are an above the tree top and base. So this way we can get the height of a tree by this method. We could understand now this case 1, case 2 and case 3, how to measure the height of a tree by trigonometry of a vertical tree is by taking tangent and by taking cos also. So this is a small thing inside where we have to understand about the cos where we apply cos here and tangent here. So this way we can make this uh, equation and then we can put the values by taking alpha, beta and then we can measure it. So thank you very much for watching this uh, lecture number 14. I hope we can understand how to measure the height of a tree, vertical tree by tangent method and also taking the help of cos. So, thank you very much.